Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Gold Rush. Uh, it seems fate has finally caught up with me. Uh, my uh, clean running streak has finally come to an end. It has been nothing but breakdowns. Uh, I got about six buckets, seven and a half buckets. As, I, as you can see, I do have some gold. I had to get some gold because here's what happened. I'm going to load up the truck. Uh, I'm going to get to that in a second here. Um... First, it started with the tablet breaking, and I was out for a day, which is no big deal. I don't actually use the tablet right now, except for banking stuff, which I don't care, right? And then, then, it was one of the front truck tires. That was $675 to fix. Uh, I, I ran, I think, half a bucket, a little over half a bucket by hand, because I was out of water. Uh, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I was going to go pan this, work on the second bucket, the full bucket, and I dropped the pan in the, the big wash basin, and I grabbed the basin by mistake, instead of the pan, I dumped out the water, and had absolutely no way to pan the rest of the gold, so I figured, okay, I was going to have enough, so I went and did my thing, and I got my uh, bank payment wrong. I was $260 over. In my, in my account, I was negative 260, and I actually had to uh, sell some of the gold to actually smelt the gold to make some money. And then, uh, yeah, that was okay, and then about 15 minutes later, another t the other tire went, so I had to fix that. Then I came back here, started running, I was literally half a bucket in. And the, the the cooler on that generator went, so I had to go back to town. Spent another hundred bucks to get that, and I got it back here. I said, fire up the wash plant. And guess what? It was the motor. And where am I going? <sighs> Can't do anything with this gold yet. I gotta go run it. So I gotta go head off to the magnetite tr to the magnetite separator, and I'll run these six bu six buckets through. Uh, I have gotten about another two thousand grams. I don't know how much this is actually going to be, but I do believe we have enough to get at least, I'm hoping, the gold loss upgrade. Uh, if we can get the cost upgrade done, then that's going to be basically every 500 grams or so that we smelt, we're going to save $1,000. So that's 1500 so we might get another 9000 out of this. And we'll see how it goes. Out of that. 49 when I start, and I'll bring you back. And this makes eight and a half thousand, so eighty five hundred in five percent. So, feeling hopeful about this, we might actually be able to get two upgrades. So, but yeah, they were all more or less fifteen hundred. So this actually looks pretty good. So, let's run them and we'll see what we can get. Uh, I want to get that magnetite trailer today because uh, if I can get the gold lost that gives me an extra gives me an extra 5% so on a 567 grams instead of losing 56 I'm losing 28 and that's actually good money. There's a 105. I'll check this one. Uh, also, too, we'll check the prices on, it was suggested about the water pump again, or the water trailer. The water trailer, last I checked, was $12,917, I think, which is a lot of money, especially when I'm paying $4,000 a day for the excavator, which is why I want to actually get that thing bought. If I have to borrow half the money from the bank to do it, or most of the money from the bank, it will be cheaper to pay the bank every day than pay the rental place. 105. Ooh, we might get 600 grams here. Which means I got 100 and. Well, let's say 400 spend, so 16,000. And we'll see what we can get. But yeah, um, that is what I want to do. Uh, as far as run time goes, as you can see, it's we got two more days, and then autumn's here. Days are going to be cooler, and they're going to be wetter. So that was the that was a bad bucket. That was the one that was 1100. The rest of them should be about 105, 110. Uh, I'll get the last two done and I'll bring you back. Oh, that's 101. This is actually a test here. You can see one bucket's fuller than the other, and one's darker. 
and then we'll lighter. So let's run this one first and see how that is. This is fuller and darker. I want to see if you can actually tell the yield just by looking at the bucket. So that had more in it, but that was darker, more dirtier. It's nice to see that gold. Too bad we don't get that all the time. And again, it was supposed to be a nice big... I got half the buckets I was going to plan on doing today until everything started breaking down. Uh, so that was 84. So this should be more. Now, here's the thing. If the, the, the engine on the wash plant went... I really should get the wash jets. The wash jets are going to be about $1,000. We get that. We got to get fuel. And make sure we have enough money for the bank and the rental place. If I can get the bank some money to pay them less tomorrow, good. Yeah, look at that. 110 So you can actually tell just by looking at the bucket. Alright, so that gives, us f gives me 584 uh, As far as the 87 I had, I, had, I don't know if a lot more is taking this cut out of that. So a third of that is going to be, say, 230. We'll be on the safe side. We'll do 450. So I am actually going to take this and take it with us to the blacksmith. Is there anything in there? Uh, I'm so desperate right now. I'm actually looking for gold and buckets I've already processed. But yeah, that was my only water, and I dumped that, and I actually had a full bucket in the wash wave table, and I couldn't even couldn't even do anything with it. Anyways, I shall return. Yeah, while well, I'm turning this stuff off, I just realized something. I want to get the magnetite trailer. But at the same time, too, I want to get fuel. So that means I have two trips. Uh, now I, can, I can only pull one trailer. I know there is hooks there, and I know, I know you can hook the, the steel cables onto them, but... I don't know if it's actually possible to pull two trailers. We might actually have to test that one day. Not right now. Right now, I need to make money so I can stop paying so much money to the bank and the god and the rental shop. Anyways, here we are. So, what we're going to do... Uh, like I said, we're going to do... Let's say 450. Or let's say 210 because that's all the money I have. Alright. Well, that is fine. So 210 uh, minus 21 would be 190 at 8900 bucks. Eesh. I think. Oh, eight nine thousand dollars It's under the equipment store. Uh, yeah. What is the name of this place anyways? I'll start calling the place by its actual name instead of the, the equipment place. The equipment supply store. But like Alaskan Depot or something, Haynes Depot. Uh, it's, it's actually park outside, just because. Mining store. Okay, we will call it the mining store then. Hello, mining store. I'm a miner. I want to buy stuff, but I don't have the money for it. That actually went down. Like it was fifty six sixty five, I think. That was that too. That was twelve nine, but even at twelve thousand six hundred, <sighs> that's a lot of money. I don't think I had that much gold on me. And then the the lights, yeah, it's just under twelve thousand dollars. Need more money for that. That is done. Oh yeah. Uh, so that means the wash plant engines can be under two thousand. All right. So I'm gonna you back to the bank and back to the blacksmith and back again I'll bring you back when I have have some money okay don't ask me how I missed it or how I forgot but I'm sure you all saw it I have two bars in the back here I didn't even see how much the other one was oh, okay that was uh that was a small one I'll right, we'll sell that I'm gonna sell that. So that's eight thousand. I can still get. See how much more I can smell. I can still do a nugget to twenty. So I'll be back. Actually, before I start doing anything, I got the magnetite. So we're actually gonna go to the shop here. I totally forgot about that. I was gonna go smell some more gold, and I thought, wait a minute. No, 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 no. We're gonna lose gold. But let's. 
address that situation right now. I do have to run back to the, the magnetite place. What that is fine, the magnetite factory, that's... I don't know what they actually do with it. I'm sure they make magnets or something. <sighs> I want to order that for a second. Because everything else went down. That was 2054 to begin with. Okay. I guess I didn't look at it when I was here before. Oh, yeah, the, the jets. 395. That's actually not bad. I can actually do that. Uh, no, I can't. Let's actually check out. Let's deal with the blacksmith first. Alright, so I'll take that. Oh, actually, we can leave that in here. And we'll get that later. So, I'm going to hook up the magnetite trailer and I'll meet you at the factory. Okay, here we are. So, now it's time to make, take a guess. Uh, I had, what was it, 54% in this bucket out of the magnetite separator. And in here, it's the equivalent of, oh, it won't tell me. Five percent. All right. And if you don't actually know, take a guess at how many grams that is. Uh, I have a rough idea myself, but take a guess. Leave it. Leave it. Uh, leave a guess in the comment below. All right. Now let's dump it off and see how much we actually have. Uh, I came out here with the bucket a day or two ago in game and. Uh, I didn't see any prompts, so I'm assuming you have to do it with this. 84. Yes, we're getting 5% more gold. Hooray. That's actually huge. So that means the next 220 I sell, I'm not, or smelt, I'm not going to be losing 222. I'm going to be losing 11. That's good. Or I can cut the price in half. Honestly, I'd rather have the gold. That will work out so much better. So now I go back to the blacksmith and do this over. It was just a sale on for Frankenstein, the big giant conveyor belt excavator thingy over there for one and a half million dollars. It's on sale, 27% off. Sure, I'll get right on that. <laughs> anyway, uh, the way things are going right now, it might be a few seasons before we get to that level, but... We'll see. Right? Like, I wasn't expecting this first season to really go good. Uh, things are going to get better once, A, we get uh, better water, and B, we get better gold for gold. We're not paying anybody money. So, so no, 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 upgrade. So, I could do either the cost for 35, or I can do, uh, there we go, gold loss. And I'm going to do the gold loss because it's more gold. All right, so now when I go and smelt, I was gonna do. You know, I got about six hundred buck uh, ounces out of that. I wanna leave at least two out of that, two twenty. So let's go two forty. Two forty. So now instead of tw losing twenty four grams, I'm losing twelve grams. And then if I do the cost upgrade, instead of being eight forty, be four twenty. And that's how you how it's done. But anyways, I shall return. Okay. Now I was also looking here too. Like we have nine thousand grams right now. To get the cost down fifty percent, it's only thirty five, so we need twenty six, which is eh, let's say fifteen or so buckets. Let's say be conservative, say twenty buckets I have paid or I have to go to the nine height separator to get that. Or if I really need to I can actually sell this for a little over 2000 and get some money that way. Uh, we'll save that for an emergency. Anyways, let's go to the bank. Uh, one thing I do have to keep in mind is I have to keep 50, 54, 
Well, there goes the magnetite separator. Or magnetite trailer. Uh, let's see if I can uh, respawn that. Okay, let's not jackknife that thing anymore. Where are you? Where did you go? All the way over there. Holy jeez. So let's go see if we can find it. Which way did it go? Yeah, it's down over by the bank. Yeah, good. We're on our way there anyways. Early access. I'll just say that. Can't handle early access. You shouldn't be watching this channel. Oh, there it is. I don't even have to flip it over. Good. Anyway. Let's see how much money I have to give away. Alright. Uh, sell this. Ten grand there. Sell that. Let's buy parts first. Because uh, two things I have to keep in mind. One is I have to keep in mind that the rental place is taking thirty nine fifty ish for the excavator. And currently the bank is taking eleven hundred for the loan. So I have to have oh, a little over five thousand. Uh, shut that off. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that fuel is expensive. Thirty-nine hundred dollars to fill up that uh, that trailer. Not cheap, considering everything runs on fuel right now. Uh, so I'm gonna get the cheap one. Reinforce at three thousand dollars, just like that motor. Look at that. That's the price of the small excavator, just about. For something you only use until you actually get to the tier three. But I have to get one of these. Not replacing it yet, but I want to have it in case it goes. As far as trailer wheels, I do not care. Okay. That leaves me with 9,500. Which means. I lost my hood. Oh well, it's an air cooled engine now. Uh, so. I actually have enough to f get gas. Wow. Anyway, I gotta go pick up the trailer. I'll meet you back at the claim. All right. Well, I had some bu ish some bugs with uh, the truck. I couldn't actually put anything in the back. I couldn't take anything out of the back, and I got stuck in it. And I tried restoring the truck and restoring myself, and nothing happened. So I actually had to save and exit the game and try it again. And and here we are. Now the question is because I still have to get fuel. Uh, basically, everything needs to be filled up. I think the excavator does have fuel. I think I just fueled it up when the, the engine went. Uh, fortunately, I do have the only other thing that could fail right now. It was only 400 bucks. So, uh, yeah, that could save me some money. But I'm kind of wondering about the, the, the temperature right now. Like it's 20 degrees. It's kind of overcast. Uh, I have been seeing a lot of rain at night, which has been good. Not that I I want the rain at night, I'd rather have it during the day, so I keep running, but, you know, if if we don't get past 25 degrees, it should be okay, but even then, it's like basically the day after tomorrow, and it's autumn, so, uh, it's good to have the rain back, but that's also a bad sign, that means that we only have about 10 days left to get gold, uh, I want to, you know, like to own the excavator, uh, possibly the generator and the fuel tank if I can. And we'll see how it goes. Anyways, uh, let us do a repair. I will take the generator with me. Oh, do I have the jerry can up here? Mm, I do. Is it got any gas in it? Ooh, it does. I'll fill you up while I'm here. Yeah, I basically just did a, re a refueling run and all the machines got back into the excavator. Started running. I had a buck and a half done I think out of that run and everything went and I was just like there goes the generator speaking of the generator there goes uh, the wash plant I was going to say I'll take that out we can fill this, fuel this up while we get down there oh jeez oh, love the mechanic of putting stuff in the back of the truck and staying there but eh, this is where the trailer comes in handy but that's just money and extra things you gotta be lugging around the claim Okay, you're hooked up, you're fueled. And I gotta admit, this hole is getting a very, very, very big. See, and I just filled this up too. It's like basically full. 
Uh, where's that jerry can? It's in here somewhere. There it is. Aha! Come here, come here, come here. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I can already tell we're running out. Gonna run out of water. It's 24 degrees. I was just set up. I'm in a good spot to get a lot of dirt going through, and it's just a matter of the water holding up. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that, that that mobile tank was 12 grand, I'd have to have another pump filling it up during the day when I actually have water. Then I would have gotten it by now. But silly me, I decided to rent a big excavator and just try to instead of just trying to do it with a small excavator. But the problem with the small excavator you'd get not even half the dirt because you can't keep the wash pond actually washing. Okay, like it just runs out all the time. And don't get excited, those are actually empty. Uh, lights weren't even on, so I don't know why I'm turning them off. Anyway, we gotta go take this thing apart. So, uh, let's, what was it? Eight? Yes. 62. Okay. I was kind of wondering too, because I could have sworn I replaced this not too long ago. Alright, so at least it's only two bolts to take this off. We don't have to deal with the belts or the wires or anything. Just shouldn't be saying anything because I know it's going to be improved sometime down the road. Don't get me wrong, though. That's what it's all about is the realism, right? But at least I'll be able to get it. I don't know. I might get a hundred bucks for this thing. It's hard to say. Do have the wash jets here? I'm gonna keep those here, just in case I need them. Anyway, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be running any more dirt today. That's not the tool I need here. It's a tool I use a lot, just not on this one. So so far, it's been the only tool I've ever had to use on the excavator, except for the pipe wrench. You need that on the hoses. But being a rental, like honestly. I think I got about two hours. By the time I get everything up and running again, I'm going to be out. But I've been working on this whole area here, and this is actually pretty good. This is where I've been getting uh, 110 gram buckets. If I can get a good run, you know what I mean? Like, basically, because I still got to get fuel anyways. So no matter what, I won't be getting any dirt run today. But if I can get myself all set up. As soon as the water is running through that river and in that pump, I should get this thing up and running and just keep on digging. Now, I don't know if I've actually drilled any of these areas yet. Let's see where 530 is. 530 is over there. Okay, and 358 I think is where the excavator is. Right there. Uh, 550, 356, there's still gold down there, it's just, it's just a little out of the reach. Or is it? Yeah, it's all about my position, I think I was actually working on that area. But, this really should be all good ground, and that's what I'm going to try to do, is get all this cleared out. Right up to about here, I think, if I have enough fuel, should be able to get up to here. Let's uh, go see what the excavator's got right now. Like I said, I won't be running anything right now because uh, cause I gotta get fuel. I might not be able to get a bucket through, but at this point, I don't care. I'd rather wait till about 7 or 8 o'clock when I start getting water, or maybe we get late rain during the day. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, I just filled it up. Three quarters of a tank. So that, with what I have in there, in the, the mobile tank, plus a full tank. Oh, not that it's going to roll away, but took the parking brake off. Uh, but that should give me enough to run. So i got to get fuel and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to start running a whole bunch of dirt as soon as I can. i got... I think I have 16 buckets. I might even pick up a couple of more. I'll sell sell the wash plant engine. I can put the other thing away. Uh, this is the thing too about... Oh my god, look at that. It's raining and I don't have any fuel. Alright, well, I gotta, I gotta make this quick. <laughs> uh, 
That's what I was talking about. Because of the fact it's raining, that means I'm going to be able to run all day. So I don't really need to... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, the way, right way. That's right. But, you know, that's the thing about having these times where you don't have rain or water. That's actually a good time to be doing things like fuel runs and organization and moving the wash plant and stuff like that. It's all about time management. Uh, from what I've seen with the rain last night and the fact that the temperature is dropping awfully quick, I should be able to get a lot of running through. And you know what? Uh... No, that's going to go in the truck anyways. I was going to put that in the excavator, but the hell with it. It's going to go in the truck because I'm going to need fuel too. So anyways, I shall return and hopefully we'll get some good digging going today. Look at that. I was so desperate for cash. I was actually going to sell the hog pan. But let's see what we actually get for that. 130 bucks. That's actually better than I thought. So anyway, I have fuel. I have six grand left, so everybody should be happy. So I'm going to grab buckets, get a little more fuel in whatever needs fuel, and I'm going to dig until I'm out of fuel or out of water. So I'll bring you back when I have 16 buckets of pay dirt to process. Okay, so the bewitching hour is upon us, or the, the witching hour. And I thought we might bring you back, see how, uh, how much, what damage is from the landlord and... Uh, the mining store, the equipment store. Uh, we'll have to find out the name of that place too. That's probably just equipment store, but uh, yeah, so far things have been pretty good. Uh, apparently, the mobile fuel tank's got a flat tire. I don't know when that happened. Uh, I'm not worried about it right now. All I care about is getting gold out of the ground. And Jenny, by the way, it's raining right now. Uh, tomorrow might be a wet day too, so uh, I should be able to. Get running pretty good here. I think this is number, yeah, this is number four right now. And so far, so good. I just fueled up the pumps in the generator. And within a few minutes here, in game minutes, probably about 30 seconds or so, we'll find out A, how much money I have left, and B, if I have any gold left. If I don't have any gold left, I'm going to be losing a little bit more money, but it's okay. Going for the 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 full pull here, as long as that water holds out. Uh, yeah, we'll find out in two more minutes. One more minute. Yeah, and honestly, that was actually something I was gonna do. I was gonna actually check the condition of things like the hydraulic hoses. Two hundred grams. Ooh, we got gold left. We have money left. We have 28 grams of gold. Which isn't something to really laugh about. That's still like a thousand bucks. And plus a thousand we have, so we actually have two grand to our name. Cool. So we have half of tomorrow's payment. And guess what? Tomorrow's autumn. Also, too, regarding the light trailer. Uh, yes, it is pitch black right now, but you know what? It doesn't last very long. You know, I can see it okay. I know it's not good for recording, but, you know, uh, I can see where the, the wash plant is, I can see where my bucket is, as long as, like, the, the dirt in this bucket gets into this machine that's got power and water, that's all I care about. Anyway, I shall bring you back. Okay, I am back, and, uh, welcome to my own personal Grand Canyon. Uh, yes, I have been busy, Mother Nature has been actually really good to me. Uh, this is actually the second day after I my last segment there, and uh, yeah, it was raining most of the day, and then it was probably about six o'clock. It it heated up, and I lost water for about two hours, and so I decided to go run three buckets, and it was actually the th the best buckets I've seen. Three buckets it was three hundred and seventy-five grams, so it was pretty good. So I f made sure I had enough and. Yeah enough money to take care of the bank and the rental company. Oh, and it's raining again. Ooh, thunderstorm too. Uh, you gotta watch out for flashes if you're uh, something that bothers you. Uh, gotta watch out for it. That's gonna happen soon. Uh, but yeah, uh, we are just about done. So I've, I've actually sold three buckets. And this right here makes 16. 
I have ten here on the ground. I have one in the wash plant. I have five up against the wall there. I have an obscene amount. Now, the three buckets that I processed gave me a little over 5,000 grams of magnetite, probably 5,500. And like I said, 375 grams of gold, which was really good. And so then another 16 buckets. So I've done 19 buckets of gold. And you know what? This might be enough to actually buy the excavator. Uh, after I sell the gold, let landlord do, take care of the gold, let that landlord take their cut. Uh, at the same time, too, I should have more than enough mine to tight to get the cost upgrade for the blacksmith. So not only are we getting more gold, but it's costing less to actually smelt it. So yeah, uh, it's good. So far, no other failures. Uh, as you can see by the back of the truck, I have replaced the wheel. Uh, that was another seven hundred dollars, but you know it's done. It had to be done. Uh, gas was uh, fuel was up again. It was up to three ninety nine a liter instead of the three ninety seven or three ninety two it was at one time. But yeah, uh, what is it? I think two more, two more buckets, and we're done. Awesome. And I still have about half a tank of fuel there. Uh, excavator is almost out, but that's fine because I am done. I gotta. We're gonna have to set up somewhere else because I'm running out of ground to reach here. But this should be it. Let's wait for that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna let that finish going through. I'm gonna gather gather up all the buckets. Oh, am I through the ground? Yes, I am. Yeah. Uh, I'll gather up the buckets and I'll meet you back at the wash tent. And we actually have plenty of time. Oh, yeah, I took out the bridge. Ha, ha, ha. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here I am. And that is a lot of buckets. So now, I'm going to go ahead and start running it. And we'll check the first bucket, see how it is. I was getting about between 16 and 1800 grams of magnetite. So we'll see how this turns out and give us an idea of what we got here. I'm expecting 2,000 grams here. 1,200. Okay, so that one wasn't the greatest bucket. I'll try one more. And then uh, I'll do the rest off camera. You can sort of see the difference in the buckets. But we'll see. So let's see what we get out of this one. This one... Shouldn't be too bad. And... There we go, 1,500. So, it's definitely some good ground there. Some of the better ground I've seen this season. Or, yeah, so far in the playthrough anyways. But anyway, so uh, let me get the rest of these done and I shall return. Look at that, 1,849. That's 130 grams in that bucket right there. So, that's good. Uh, so far, yeah, it's uh, 1130, 1145, but 17, 1749 is pretty good. Or 18 or whatever that was. Let's see what this one is. Maybe another good one, who knows. There you go, 1500. Okay, last pocket's going through the separator now. We've got about 20%, which I think is about 30,000 grams, which means we have enough to get the cost upgrade, and that was another six, almost 1700. Uh, the best bucket was 1882. I was impressed with that. So now to go ahead and run it through, I shall return. Okay, first bucket was 121 grams, which is really good. And what I'll do is I'll well do them on camera because it's not going to take too long. So that one was 121. This one is going to be, I decided to do them individual this time, 110. And then we'll go with this one. And, uh, excuse me a second. Sorry, false alarm. I thought I had to sneeze there. Alright, and the next one is... Still going through. This is a big one. We're already 100 there. it will be like 120. 114. It's not bad. You know what? We're getting that excavator today. Yes, we are. 
Yes, we are. We're getting rid of that. Getting rid of that goddamn four thousand dollar payment every month, every day. Uh, I'll take this one. This is gonna be a bad bucket. I'm gonna assume. It's gonna be so nice to see close to two thousand grams of gold, and then landlords gonna be happy because they're gonna get about six hundred grams of that. Eighty-two, and I. There was one bucket that was only 85% on the wash plant, and I think that was it right there. So we'll go on to the next one. Uh, doing okay for fuel. Uh, from this point on, I'm going to say we're smooth sailing. As long as I have fuel, I should be able to continue running all day. Uh, just because of the fact that I haven't lost water once today. The highest the temperature got was 22 and a half. We basically have 10 days of really, really good mining. Okay, that was another bad bucket. There was two that were under 1,200, but I know there was a lot that were like 16 and 17 and a few that were 18. But this is good. And then this is going to be enough to get the cost upgrade, which is going to save us a couple of thousand dollars a day. And hopefully, whatever I have to borrow off the bank isn't going to isn't gonna cost too much a day or cost more per day than the excavator itself that I was paying for that and hopefully we can even get it on sale uh, so I checked the price it was 104 but we shall see so far looking good I'm about I've only done seven buckets and 740 grams looking good looking good uh, like I said, uh, the best one I've seen so far was 129. Uh, one of these buckets did have 1882 of the magnetite, so I expect that one to be good. But look at that. 900 grams. Oh, that looks so nice. But that's does right now because this is hard mood. Like, I'm not getting nuggets. I've I found nuggets almost close to that, the size that I have in gold right now. And... In a normal mode, that was a little much, but even then, you know, it's so easy to get gold in that. And there we go, we are passing 1,000 grams. Nice. Yeah, wait for it, come on. Oh yeah, gotta kneel to the god. No, oh, that wasn't worth it. 108. This might be a good bucket, this filled it up to 50%. Uh, gonna have to get the trailer to eventually. Alright. Uh, six more. I'll, I'll bring it back when they're all done. There we go. 134 grams. That's the best so far. Okay, on to the last bucket. As you saw, that one, this one, that one I just did was 132. Uh, so far, this has been what it is. It's the best it is. Uh, I'm gonna fall shy of the 2000 mark, but. Let's say even at 1,800 grams. Well, uh, let's, let's get a total here because I want to know how much I, ha I actually have to myself. And 124. This was a good day. So 1845. Let's say 1,800 grams. Uh, so 500 goes to the landlord. I have a 1,300. Very nice. Okay. So now, now we got to go to the blacksmith. Actually, what we gotta do is get the bucket in there. I'm gonna drop that off and sell that. We'll shut that off. And we'll shut this off. And then we're gonna take the magnetite. And then what I'm gonna do is because I only have about 200 bucks right now, so I can't really smelt too much. I'm gonna get a few bucks for that. Probably 40 bucks, if that. But we're gonna take the magnetite. We're gonna get the upgrade. And then whatever's left, we're gonna sell. And that's just to get the, the extra couple of bucks so we can actually smelt some gold. So, you know, hopefully in the next three hours I can get the landlord money. Uh, uh, have money in there so we don't lose the excavator. Alright, so let's uh, get this back in here quickly. And I uh, will meet you at the, uh, at the blacksmith. Okay, here, here we are. And I was thinking about it too as, as I was leaving... You know, if I plan on actually getting the excavator, uh, there's no guarantees I'm going to, but if I, pl if I was planning on getting the excavator today, I could have uh, actually returned the one I'm renting back and saved myself the five grand. 
but yeah just in case I'm gonna make sure I can actually get this so first let's go and upgrade so I had a little over 30, almost 31,000 so we're gonna actually I'm gonna upgrade that one yes 35 grand so now we have 5,000 to sell let's sell that for uh, yeah because we actually need the money so now we can go in here and we can smelt the full bar. Now this is where it's good because not only are we only losing half the gold, but it's costing us half the cost. And that's how it works. This is where we start making money because, like I said, if we can get that excavator back and out of out of rental and actually in our hands, then we should be good. Anyway, I shall return. The bar is just about ready, but uh, we'll look at the upgrades again because I was talking about the gold loss. How it was seventy-five thousand for this, for the next one, which I think is going to be half of what we're already doing. So if we're only losing five percent now. This will bring it down to two and a half, I think, and then down here will be down to one percent. But one hundred fifty thousand grams. Uh, the cost, same, it's going to be seventy thousand, but that's going to again cut it in half. That might be worthwhile. And then uh, the max amount is just how much you can smelt at one time. Time, eh, not time's not that big of a deal, really. But anyways, uh, my gold should be ready. I shall return. Okay, here we are. So, let us see how much we get. 23,000. Ooh, that's nice. All right. And we have another one of those, plus 300 more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the blacksmith, get, get the other, other 19 ounce bar. Oh yes, very nice to see that. And then we'll bring it back here, sell it, and pay off our loan. And here we are, back at the bank at 10:30 at night, only in Haynes. Uh, 23 grand. Ooh, that feels good. And oh, this feels even better. Pay off that. Look at that, 23 grand in the bank. Okay, so now, how much can we actually borrow? Damn. No, we're not getting the excavator today. Not today, but one more good day of mining, I think we could, and I think maybe. I'm just curious what the payment would be on a 24. So, yeah. That's more than what I'm paying a day right now. But if I can get that down to... If I can get close to half, I'm going to borrow 40000 That right there is still less than the excavator and the loan payment. But no more loan payment. That's good. So we just got the excavator to deal with. Uh, let's take a quick shot in the quick stop at the, the equipment machine place thingamabobber one to find out what its actual name is and I'm th almost thinking about getting that that fuel tank if I don't jackknife and lose my magnetite trailer again yeah how'd you learn how to drive a trailer or how'd you learn to uh, back up a trailer in real life oh playing a video game oh that's my turn so let's go check this out. Uh, I was hoping the excavator would have been on sale when we showed up. But yeah, the only thing that was on sale was a sluice box and uh, the, the electric water pumps. And even then, that might be a smart idea too, is get the generator. But this right here, oh, it's cheaper too. This right here, uh, that, that's what's killing me. Hmm. Realistically, though, one day, I get, how much did I get from the bank? It was, it was 40,000 or something, I can't remember. Oh, no, it was 53, but even that 53 and what I have is 76, so that's not getting it. Anyway, 25 for that, and 58 for that. It's almost worth it, just because it saves me trips into town with the fuel tank. We'll have to get it eventually, but I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to hold off and you know, get this 
beast hopefully next time uh, I got a whole day to run I'm gonna see if I can pull off another 16 buckets like I did uh, I don't really know where I'm gonna be going next cuz I actually got basically empty well that's, there's still some gold in there but I didn't really get right down to the very bottom so I've thought about trying to bring the wash plant down in there somehow and using the excavator to dig right down to bedrock and use the, the whole rental aspect and assume I'm not going to break any teeth see there's not much there but there's always a possibility of moving back into this area here because this is all untouched ground too but yeah uh, that's what we're going to do we're going to hold off and get the excavator next time with that I'm going to call the episode here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.